from Doggy U, and today we're going to be talking about the Roughwear Switchback Harness. We're going to talk about all the different components of this new harness from Roughwear that combines their really functional harnesses with these cool pockets that make it almost like a little backpack. It's a really sweet harness, and I love it for both service dogs and pet dogs. So stay tuned. Let's check it out. I'm going to be showing you the harness on two different dogs. The first one is my little coolie girl here, who is about uh, 37 pounds or so, and has a girth of 25.5 inches approximately. So she's well within the size small for this roughwear harness. Now this harness combines a lot of what I liked about the front range harness, but adds some really cool components to it, including this underbelly strap that's gonna help for those dogs that have issues with maybe trying to slip their harness. It's gonna make it really hard to do that. Um, it also has a front and a back clip. Now the front clip is that reinforced webbing in the front and the back is like, a, I think an aluminum metal. I'm much happier with the aluminum than with just this webbing in the front, but I'm never gonna use a harness like this as a front pole type kind of harness. Um, so that's not too much of a bother. If you are gonna use it as a front clip harness, there's probably better harnesses to do that, um, but you could use it in a pinch if you needed to. Uh, it's got the light loop on the back so you can attach their little beacon light to it, as well as a handle, which I love for hiking. So being able to help the dog up steeper climbs, um, really enjoy that or help them in and out of the car. Uh, it's very low profile, so it doesn't seem like it's going to get, um, you know, caught on anything. And I've been using this harness now for a month, so I bought it when it first came out, and I've been using it every single day. So you can see that I have not washed it, I haven't done anything to it besides use it every day, hiking, raining, all of that. And you can see that it stays fairly clean, which I'm really stoked about. I even used it um, to go shed hunting a couple times through a bunch of thorns and bramble and all of that, and there's no tears in it, which I'm excited about. Um, besides the handle, which I love, and the back strap, it's also got these really cool pockets. So they're not huge, but you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there, especially for your daily. So if you're the type of person that doesn't bring a treat pouch everywhere, so you may not have poop bags on you, you can put your poop bags. You can probably put a very small bladder of water in here, as well as a little bowl too. So there's a lot that you can fit in these pockets without making it overwhelming for your dog or getting them caught up on stuff in the woods, which I really love. Now, is it a replacement for like a backpacking backpack? Absolutely not. This is meant for daily use. Also, one of the reasons I really purchased this harness is because I thought it would be a really good service dog harness because of all of this space to put patches. Patches could easily be sewn on here, but also it would make it so that your dog could carry medication for you easily, or you know, if you have certain paperwork that you like to carry, even though we all know uh, you don't need paperwork for your service dog, you could put that in here, or anything else that you need for your service dog or for yourself could easily be carried in this little, um, this little vest-ish harness thing. Um, they're calling it a harness, a harness with pockets. So that's how they're describing it. But I see it really, if you're using it in the service dog functionality as a really cool vest. And I love this red color, um, which we all know is typically used for service dogs. So really cool. It's got five points of adjustability, which I really like. Um, it's so you can adjust both sides of the front, two sides here, and then one side of this um, under belly strap that is padded all the way around. So really nice padding all the way around. The clips are, um, plastic buckle clips. Now these front two are pretty easy to use. This back one, if you have limited dexterity, is going to be more challenging. So this one you really have to like push in there to unclip it, okay? So that one you may struggle with at first, but as it's loosened up, it's gotten a little bit easier to take out. So that's really nice. So why don't I show you this also on my other 50 pound dog so you can see the difference. So here's Jake, he's my older dog who's about 50 pounds and has a girth at just under 27 inches. So he's at the very high end of a small. Um, so I wanted to show you what that looked like. So I wanna show you it just slides right over their head. You're gonna clip the harness on both sides and it's easy to clip because it's got these simple buckles here like that. And then you're gonna strap this one under the belly and hard to do without seeing it. There we go. 
Now you can see here that the belly strap is far in front of his private part, so it's not rubbing or irritating him, which is really great. That's what I want to see in a harness. So it fits him really well as well. I probably wouldn't go up a size um, with him uh, based on just his shape. So with this harness, uh, it also has a bit of reflective material here in the front. Um, though I, it could, it could probably use more. So that's another one of the, the small cons is could use a little more reflective material, could be a little easier to get this buckle on them, um, but it is something that you figure out over time. The one final thing um, with the cons of this harness, as this is a totally impartial review, I bought this harness, Ruffboard didn't give it to me, I just thought it was a really cool uh, new development in their line and I wanted to test it out for my clients. Um, so this is going to be a little bit hotter than your traditional harness if you're just going to use like the front range or even like a balance harness. It's going to be a bit hotter. That being said, you could easily fit this over one of their jet streams or their cooling vests um, and, and kind of negate that, that factor. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the, um, the water pouches, I'm sure there's a real name for those, um, and you know, make them cold or freeze them. And you can put that on the dog prior, making sure your dog's not gonna get too cold, but with all this padding, that's not gonna be a problem probably, um, and cool them down that way. I also just wanted to show you the attachment. So we've got a front attachment here that we could put a leash to, or we've got our back attachment uh, here, which is the metal one, the traditional one um, that you would use. So overall, I think this is a really functional everyday harness, both for just going out on a normal walk for your dog, going out on the trail, letting them, you know, off leash to free run. It's not going to get in the way. There's not going to be, you know, in general, it's not going to get like torn up based on what I've observed in the last month. And it's not sticking out a lot. So they're going to bump into a lot of branches as well as an awesome harness for service dogs where you can fit some of your little extras that you need as well as put patches up the side. So I'm just really loving this harness and it has become my daily walker. So highly recommend this one. Awesome job, Rough Work. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit that little bell button so you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you have questions or comments about the harness, put them down below. And if you're interested in learning more and having a deeper dive into dog training and joining the Doggy U community, check out the Patreon page at patreon.com slash doggy All right, you guys have an awesome day and happy training. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode.